First things first, the sling came. Look at Blue Force Gear stepping their game up, making these really nice holiday gift boxes. I don't do unboxing videos. Uh, yeah, I ordered it. That's what it looks like. Oh man, it's beautiful. They've never sent one of these to me before, so either they're doing it now, or they're like, look bro, this is what you ordered. Like this, <laughs> just so you know, before you open that box, this is what you got on purpose. This is what you told us to build and we built it, all right? So, behold, in all its glory, the belligerence of this sling. It actually matches so perfectly that I couldn't be happier with it. Oh man, keep smacking my camera. Look at that. That is just amazing. Look at Blue Force gear, making dreams come true. And I wanted to do a few things real quick. Just to let you know what I'm doing with the rifle, what my intentions are for the setup, and just a couple of bullet points that you should consider if you're looking at this upper. Uh, I was going to shoot it today, but it was a monsoon, so I skipped it. First things first, uh, this is a really good upper. Uh, one of the best offerings I've seen with all of the right things in a package. And a lot of guys will go and get a Geisley rail a Geisley charging handle or Radian charging handle, uh, put a Surefire muzzle device on there, and just, the, you know, the guys that are serious about running guns for serious things, those are the, those are the go-to things, you know, you're looking for Geisley parts, Surefire parts, so on and so forth. So this package is actually a really smart, awesome idea. Very happy with it. They collaborated with Daniel Defense, another great company known for their excellent quality. So what I'm gonna do with this rifle is suppress it and put an optic on it. Now, I'm looking at a one to six, first focal plane, low power variable optic. The reason I'm doing that is for the barrel length and the round I'm gonna be shooting, I'm gonna be shooting the Mark 318 Mod Zero uh, Marine Corps round, which is a 62 grain hollow point, which is kind of gassed up for a short barrel so my whole thought process behind that is I usually run 16 inch barrels or greater that's my preference so running a 14.5 you lose a little bit like a, a noticeable enough amount of velocity that people talk about it so my goal is to run that 318 to try to compensate for that loss in velocity now, will I be pushing this out to ranges or doing any sort of serious work where I'm punching holes in T-zones? Probably not. But if I ever had to, I want this rifle to be able to rise to that challenge and be what I want it to be. So I'm looking for another Geisley uh, Super Precision mount. I'm either, the reason I don't have it already, I almost pulled the trigger on one, but I'm not sure what optic I'm gonna put on there. And if, had I picked one for a 30 millimeter, I might have decided to go with the loophole Mark VI and screwed myself. We'll see, I don't know. I do not like second focal plane. I know even the little, even the cool little uh, PVC patch you get has a Vortex razor on it. I know these were tested with Vortex razors. I know that the Vortex razor is a great optic. I, I gotta be honest with you, I don't like doing guesswork. I don't always shoot at max magnification. And I don't do that to show off, it's just sometimes you want a wider field of view. So I don't wanna do guesswork outside of max magnification. I want something that's good at 1X, and I know first focal planes are not as good at 1X as a second focal plane, but you pretty much have two settings with a second focal plane, max mag and no mag. So I wanna have a functional magnification range and I've already made people upset with this rifle in cloning communities. Uh, they don't like Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman and they told her to get out. And my question to them before I got a three day ban was, it's not issued yet, what are you even cloning? And they didn't have an answer, <laughs> deleted my post and suspended me for three days. But if you look at Geisley's website, you got this one. This one, 
and this one. So my question is, what are you even cloning? And if you know people in those communities, they tend to outfit their rifles however they want. Just saying. And I'm not saying it's gonna look like this or Mr. Guns and Gears. And Mr. Guns and Gear might put his upper on a different lower. I don't know. I hope he doesn't. I hope that he looks at this sling design, has to have it, and does the same thing. If my other one comes from Texas, I will mail it to him. All expenses paid by me, so he can be cool just like me. So I'm trying to be cool. Not really. <laughs> just a regular dude. For those of you that did notice, this is on a Carnicon lower. If you're out there, Dugan, please start making videos again. You're the hero we need. I need you back. A lot of people said these lowers weren't that good. Uh, prove it? I, <laughs> it it feels good, it's got a flared magwell, and there's zero play between the upper and the lower, like zero. So I, I'm i plenty happy with it. And the mags drop out just fine, so I, I don't know. But I got a gun dragon on it. It's super awesome, so very happy about that. So that's the plans with the rifle. Now, I'm gonna take it out and shoot it with irons, zero the irons with the Mark 318 Mod Zero. I gotta sell my left testicle so I can pay for it because it is about the same price as the 77 grain TMK, which I say, oh man, I can't stock this stuff, and then I continually buy it. So I mean, <laughs> I, I'm gonna buy it. I could run the 77 grain TMK through this and just make my life easier. We'll see, but, uh, and the, by all rights, the 77 grain TMK is probably gonna be more effective out of this barrel, but I really wanna play with that. Mark 318 Mod Zero, and I think I might be able to artificially stimulate the market by buying a shitload of it, so we'll see. And then everyone else can buy it. I'm not gonna tell you where to get it yet, though, because I need at least a couple thousand rounds before you, all you animals start buying it. Because I know that's what you do. So, uh, a couple of disclaimers before buying this upper. Now, again, I really love Geisley products. I'm putting Geisley on everything. I love Geisley. Uh, I love Surefire. Surefire is the only light that's going to be on my rifle. Uh, I'm putting Surefire muzzle devices on my HKs and a whole bunch of other stuff. Buying Surefire uh, suppressors. I love Surefire. Daniel Defense. This is my first Daniel Defense adventure. But whatever. Uh, and I'm going to do a proper review. I don't want you guys thinking that this is going to be my review. I take my reviews seriously. I don't. I try not to cuss in them. I, Try to hit all the data points and hit all the stuff you guys are looking for. There's a couple things with this that I, I want everybody to know because in my excitement, and this is completely my fault, 100%, so I'm going to put it on the screen, completely my fault. The golden ticket, for those of you, I'm going to cover up the codes so you all don't screw me over here. So you get a golden ticket, there's two sides, two discount codes. Ooh, right? 30% off, that's insane. Nobody ever offers 30% off, except Geisley on Black Friday. So, you see this, 30% off, and the guy explaining it to me, he's a friend of mine, good dude, solid dude. I guarantee you I wasn't listening when he was describing it because I was so excited. I loved how this looked. Uh, use the socks, gonna use it, and comes with a discount card. My wife's a shooter, she'll let me buy this, right? Such a smart buy, right? Hang on. So what they don't, tell you, sometimes, I don't know, but what uh, most people aren't talking about is, one, this golden ticket at all, you'll see it in comments and stuff, but it's only for, it says scout light models, and then it lists five, they're all the vampire lights. So I don't think this is as good an offer as people think it is. For those that don't know, the vampire lights, remarkably capable lights, very durable, first and foremost. Um, they're white light and infrared. Cool. Problem is though, the white light is only between 200 and 350 lumens based on the model that you get. So you're not getting a light that's competitive with a regular M600, uh, M300C that's 500 lumens, or the new dual fuel, which are all the same price by the way. So, and these are more expensive. Now the reason I say that this isn't a screaming deal is because one, nobody buys these. Go look up reviews on YouTube. 
There's two. The reason nobody buys these is because most people don't have nods. And it's not a bad buy if you have nods or some sort of night vision capability. Even if you have a monocle and are waving your rifle around to increase your visibility with this light, you're better off with this light. But <clears throat> if you're hunting hogs or terrorists, he, this isn't really going to benefit you. So this right here is going to not get used by a lot of people. And I'm guessing that Surefire has a bunch of these in inventory. They're also the most expensive. So you're not really saving any money. And most of these are not dropping to the price range of a dual fuel or the other lights that I listed. So you're kind of at a disadvantage with this light. Uh, some people don't like all of the lumens for a simple home defense setup. Like for me, my perfect home defense setup would be a UMP 45 or, you know, an MP five or something with a light on it and a dot. So you can, you had something small light and you can dump 30 rounds. You know what I'm saying? If you had to, and that would be perfect for that, you know, cause it's not a lot of light. You're not taking it out of the house. You're good. I'll throw a suppressor on there for extra fun. Speaking of suppressors, uh, what the hell? So 30% off of a SOCOM 556RC. Now, the reason that that's... Uh, so, RCs are fielded, right? They're, they're solid suppressors. Problem is, there's the RC2. So, there's a new generation of suppressor. This literally only applies to this suppressor. It's longer, and I think it's Surefire trying to clear some of their old inventory. And the way they're doing that is 30% off, but it's MSRP. I don't know the last time Surefire had a site-wide sale. I don't think they do ever. And again, Surefire products are the gold standard, but I don't want a Surefire RC. I'm going to be straight up with you. My MR762 is going to get a Mini 762, and I plan on buying a RC2 for the CR556 I bought, and I was going to have another one for this because again, I don't like moving stuff. And I did plan to suppress this, which is one of the reasons I bought it. So long and short, buy it from Surefire. I can't take this to my LGS, which has a better price than MSRP and apply 30% to it. I have to call Surefire with this signed and fax it to them and say, hey, 30% off. They're like, sure, we're gonna charge you the absolute top dollar for it and then take 30% off. But again, they didn't have to put this in there. So it's not like they're screwing you, you know? And for budget-minded people like myself, I saw this without reading it and I was like, oh my God! And again, completely my fault. I'm gonna put it on the screen again for those of you that are gonna hit me in the comments. Completely my fault. But best thing in the world, not the worst thing in the world. You know, for those of you that don't have, like, I have a really awesome local gun store here that I go to, and I'll tell you once I leave where I'm at, but they have everything. Like, they have all the cans, they let me shoot at RC2, all the optics, all the, that's where I got this, they have all the coolest stuff right away. So, mesmerized, I didn't pay attention, here we are. So I'm not super pumped about the golden ticket, some people are, some people are going to get that stuff anyway, so it works for them. Just keep that in mind when you're looking at it. I know I mentioned this in the last video, but I cannot stress enough, you have to clean this. I know Joe Bob is sitting at home. I need to test that out of box reliability. All I gotta do is slap it on a lower, feed it, and shoot it. You'd be fine. Cut it packaged in a box. That box looks like this. those bags first when I saw the bags I got super excited now the local gun store of course has one of these uppers out for display purposes everybody plays with it it's been cleaned they're smart <laughs> they're not gonna give somebody something that's caked in cosmoline uh, would you I mean come on so when I saw the bags at first I was like oh sweet it's vacuum sealed there's no they got desiccant packs in there hopefully no caked in garbage no no wrong let me tell you how wrong I was. When I pulled this out, it's caked. 
I mean absolutely caked in Cosmoline. The rail, the barrel still has it on there because I didn't take this off. The, actually, right up here and right here still has Cosmoline on it. Uh, I had to clean this. In fact, my wife was so happy when she got home that I used some of the Tupperware to, and now I can never use this Tupperware again because I don't want brain damage. I know Marines won't care, but, but I had to wash the bolt, bolt carrier. I took the bolt all the way down, took all the parts down, put them in that, and I dumped cleaner in there. And uh, I still had to scrub it afterwards to get all of that stuff off like the next guy but in all honesty the amount of cosmoline on this was violent and you're gonna be cleaning it for a while um, not not a good time Something that people have covered is this four prong flash hider do anything at all like charge the weapon or anything like that it's gonna ring so, I'm pumped about that. I really wish they just used the three prong. But, it's what the government uses, so clone correct, right? Uh, I, I honestly didn't buy this to troll the clone community. And a good rifle, and I really look forward to shooting it here soon. I got mags loaded up. I'm just waiting for a day. It's not monsooning outside. But people are taking this way too seriously. I do plan on doing legit clones in the future. Uh, M16A4, which is going to be about 80 to 85 percent correct, and a 416C, pretty much. That's going to be as correct as I can possibly make it. But that notwithstanding, uh, <laughs> this gun instantly makes clone people upset because I am taking this project seriously. I'm not taking the clone correct thing seriously, but uh, this rifle is a serious use rifle, so that's my mentality with putting this thing together and it's suppressed once I get a can and just shoot the lights out with it. So uh, just an intro video, a couple things to look out for, just a heads up on the uh, golden ticket and just some general discussion. Thanks for sitting through it with me. Uh, optics suggestions, go ahead and put them in the comments. I know about 80 of you are gonna troll me with putting get the vortex, bro, but it's just, I don't like second focal plane, I'm sorry. Not unless it's like a one to four. One to four is fine, but one to six, you kind of are actually looking pretty far with a one to six, so I don't, I don't want to do that. Anyways, thanks for watching. Take care, take care of each other. Stay safe. There's gonna be lots more with Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman coming up. Important to defend the Constitution of the United States of America.